Upon first entering Market Delta Cloud, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. You'll have a dome on the right hand side, you'll have a chart, a watch list, down below are the order tabs or the trade tabs as we refer to them. You can collapse this or expand it. And in the top right is your initials. This is where the settings and the broker logins, uh, everything gets added here. So if, just to show you, if you want to add a live login now, you can go to broker login. Your sim or demo is probably already here and you can just click add new account type in just give it a nickname like live account and then put in your live credentials choose live and add new account and then all you need to do is click edit and choose which account you want to use your demo or your live account but going back to the main screen there's some layouts here by default that are set up and you can toggle between these or create new ones. To create a new one you just click the add button, give it a name, Oops. give it a name, and choose what type of layout. So there's right now there's six defined layouts you have to choose between. Uh, and then just click create new trade space. So if I'm gonna go ahead and just create uh, create one here. and they'll come up blank and you just click setup and you specify what widget type you want in that in that widget panel so if I wanted to do a chart I can choose chart and there's some predefined charts or you can create a new chart I'll go ahead and just create a new chart and give it a symbol and save new chart close it and you can see it'll go ahead and uh, create a new chart for that okay so I'm gonna go back to the sample space that I'd created or that we initially had and let me just show you briefly how to uh, get around here in the upper right hand corner of all the widget panels is this little dot 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 you can click that and that'll expand and give you some more options. So you can change the symbol by clicking in here and typing. You can change the periodicity for the chart by just selecting it from here. Um, there's different chart types. You can play around with these. Studies, this is where all the studies are. And it's also where you might uh, edit some of them. Uh, the drawing tools are all under here and then you can collapse this. Now if I wanted to put something else in here I can just click reset and it would bring up that widget selector like you saw uh, just a moment ago. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse that and going down to the watch list I can click it here click edit and this is how you will change what you see here. So I can turn columns on or off I can rearrange them I can delete rows, maybe there's some symbols in here that don't have data or that I just simply don't want to see. Or you can search new symbols. So if I wanted to add, um, say, uh, soybeans, ZSE, just search for that symbol. Now down below you can see, here is, I'm showing the uh, symbol guide, you can click, you can visit that link and uh, quickly see the most common symbols. Um, otherwise just start typing the symbol and it'll return a dynamic list. It uses the CQG format for symbols. And that's the same for the dome. So if I wanted to change the symbol here to uh, ENQ, it'll just change, change it right over. Okay. The, the panel here um, is just, just choose uh, whatever you want to see, orders, fills, working, it's however you want to uh, view the data. I won't spend too much time on that. Typically you, you'll probably want this collapsed and then you can see what's going on with these little number, number notifications. You know if you're working orders or uh, just how many you've, you've done. 
Um, on the watch list, if it has a background color, you can click it to place a trade. So if I wanted to place a do uh, trade here in crude oil, if I click the ask, it opens up the trade ticket up here uh, for a buy one market. So all I need to do is click this. So if I were to click the bid column, it's going to open up a sell order, sell one market. And that's how that works. So I'm not, there's videos on each of these pieces of functionality that you can check out independently. I just want to briefly give you a quick overview of how to get around the application. But the trade button, which opens the trade ticket, this is where you can customize orders. Specify the symbol up here and uh, choose where you want buy or sell. And you can then click between market limit, stop or stop limit. The menu will change so that you can specify everything accordingly. And uh, then you would just submit it. Atom is automated order management strategies. And this is present on the trade ticket as well as the dome. And we'll go ahead and move over and do a few trades in the dome. And we'll use Atom there so you understand how it works. But there is an entire video and a whole series of videos on the more specifics of the Atom. Um, functionality. So the first thing is note your symbol and the quantity. I ha that's how it's set up. You can click to increment the quantity. If I wanted to do a three lot or whatever. D just goes back to the default of one. And uh, limit or stop, day or GTC. And the easiest thing to do is just buy or sell market. Just use these buttons. So if I wanted to buy, buy market, just click buy market and I just bought one market this is the NASDAQ you can see it showed up here in the net over here and I'll buy another one so I'm now long two and this this is my PL. I can flatten or reverse if I wanted to place limit orders I can just click into here and place limit orders there is currently no drag and drop functionality on the dome so if I wanted to modify this order I would either have to do it from the order the tabs here by clicking the pencil and modifying it modifying it here or okay I got filled um, or you just cancel it and then just place it at the price you want so that's how you place limit orders. The same goes uh, on the sell side. Just click wherever you want to place the cells. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flatten out. That'll cancel everything and flatten my position. You can also just click up in above the best bid or below the best ask to place a market order. So however you like to trade. Now let's briefly just show you um, Adam. There's some predefined strategies in here, but you can also just click add or edit and that'll take you over to the screen where you can edit them. Let's just look at the basic bracket order. And again, refer to the video on this, but a uh, basic bracket would be, um, I'm going to just do a single leg, quantity of one. It's going to submit a profit target of eight ticks and a stop loss of 12 ticks. And that will go in upon entering a position. So I'm going to go back. Again, watch the videos on Adam if you really want to learn more about how to build them and how to use them. But I want you to see the automation. I'm going to just choose bracket. Okay, you can see it's set the bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just buy market. So I bought here at 88 and it put in a profit target eight ticks higher and there's my stop loss now you can use trailing stops on here as well uh, so it'll follow it up as the market moves in your favor if i click flatten here it'll take me out of the position and cancel those so that gives you that should give you a brief overview of uh how to get around the platform if you have any questions just email support at marketdelta.com Click our live support chat. We're more than happy to help out. Thanks and make a great day.